Welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. Our mission is to share what we have learned from our experience and the experience of others to help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate the Discount Property Investor way. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, visit FreeWholesaleCourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. I am your host, David Dodge, today joined by my co-host, Mike Slane. Hey, Mike. Hey, Dave. How are you, man? Man, it has been a while since you have been on the show. Well, you know, I've been busy, man. You're a busy, busy bee, man. Always out in the field buying us rental properties and working on those rehab Fixing projects. Them, flipping them, all that crap, you know. Somebody, somebody's got to pay the bills around somebody's here. Somebody's yeah. got to do it, buddy. Well, it's glad I'm glad to have you back on the show today, Mike. Well, and then you also know I was in here uh, playing with our new studio. So if you guys are watching us, we've got uh, a nice little studio we're trying to finish setting up here. Uh, hopefully you notice a little improved sound quality we're using our good mics and we're going to keep this setup going for you so that's right yeah that's so right. i'm excited to be back today though dave i want to talk about a deal that i've been chasing literally my whole career and finally got it so here in st louis i would say it's the exception not the rule uh it was what we call the six figure deal dave this was a hundred thousand dollar wholesale deal one hundred thousand dollars that on a single deal that is a lot of money that is a ton of money like more money than i used to make in my corporate gig i was making i think like i think it was 78 or eighty thousand dollars a year all year i worked 40 to 60 hours a week for a company made good money don't get me wrong but was making like 80 grand a year that's right this was a hundred thousand dollars on a wholesale deal unbelievable game changer so let's talk a little bit about this deal, Dave. Uh, I think that's kind of the, the moral of the story today. Let's just talk about this deal because it's so exciting and it's so much fun uh, to, to check off one of your goals, you know, to, to hit something like that. And in St. Louis, again, I think it's a really big deal. I know some of you guys in California, there's, there's much bigger profit margins that there, there can be. Uh, so these aren't as rare, but again, I think they're pretty rare here in St. Louis, and I was really excited that we were able to get one done together. Absolutely, so, Mike. Absolutely. Yeah, let's talk about this one. So this was a deal that we got actually driving for dollars, and we use an app called Deal Machine, and it's an app that you can use on your iPhone or your Android device, and this app allows us to locate properties while we are out and about driving around, and, and, we, and we do this all the time, it's called Driving for Dollars. And this app will allow us to locate the property owner um, and then skip trace them so we can then call or text them, or we can even send direct mail directly from the app. Now, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, Mike and I highly encourage you do. Uh, use code D. P-I for Discount Property Investor. Again, that is code D-P-I. And if you use that code, uh, you will get $40 worth of free skip tracing credits. So again, that code is D-P-I for Discount Property Investor. Awesome. And you get a 14-day free trial uh, with the app, um, no matter what. But when you use our code, you're going to get $40 worth of free credit to skip trace and or test out sending some direct mail. So we use the Deal Machine app to locate this deal. We were driving around this neighborhood, and this was a neighborhood that had um, it had some properties that... Um, they looked rough. They looked rough, exactly. And, and, and that's why we located this property on the app, and we said, okay, this is a target for us, okay? The property, whenever we... Originally drove by, it looked vacant. Um, you could see through the windows, and it was all studs. They had gutted this property. And the, the front yard hadn't been cut in months. It was all overgrown. The bushes looked like hell. I mean, the place just looked like it needed some love. It looked 
vacant. Yeah. So this is, and let's, uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of go back to that whole driving for dollars thing. If you guys are kind of new to wholesaling, let's talk about driving for dollars. So what is that? We're basically driving around looking for properties that, like Dave just said, need some love. We're looking for houses that need work or that look abandoned. Like, that's what we want to find. Those are gold for us. Right. And this one, again, 100K deal. That's gold. That is gold for that us. Was, so we, were, we, we found exactly what we were looking for. And by using the app, it's great because you don't have to worry about trying to write an address down while you're driving. Right, because we're locating several properties in the area, and sometimes there might be three, four, three five in a, row. in a row, exactly, or ten on a single street. So you can kind of creep down the street in your car, and as you drive by a property, you can drop a pin in the map, and then what happens is it just creates a list. And if you want to use the app to send mail, you can, or you can export your own list and handwrite your own mail and send it that way. This is such a game changer, though, because this is back when I started, Dave, and you too. I know we both were literally driving around and writing down addresses or taking a picture of it with our phone or those something. Those days are gone. Yeah, thank, this is thank God so that much those faster. days are gone. Right. So again, check out the Deal Machine app. Driving for dollars, super, super helpful. Deal Machine app is going to accelerate that. Uh, I mean, 10x, 10X. Uh, 100x. Yeah. I mean, it's so much better. So use the promo code well, We would have never got this deal if we weren't using... Yeah, that's for sure. 100%. But again, guys, don't forget, use code DPI whenever you're registering, and you're going to get $40 worth of free skip tracing or mail credit. And um, and that's, again, how we found this deal. So we use the app to find it, and then what do we do? We skip trace the owner. Okay, we came back to the office, we skip trace the owner, and we found the owner. We called her. It was a female. And... Well, once we got her on the phone, we said, hey, we, we saw that you have this property and the grass is long. And, it, you know, we peeked in the windows or we could see it from the street and it looks like it had been gutted out. You know, what is going on? And the property was in a floodplain, right, Mike? It was. And, that's, and it had flooded? Right. And she, she was very for, candid with us. I mean, she told us exactly what was going on. She said, uh, listen, I inherited this house um, about a year after that. It flooded out. Uh, we, we don't know what to do with it. I've just had it's been a nightmare. I've had to maintain it. Um, we've had, you know, issue after issue. And she just said, you know, I just, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. Um, I just want to sell it. Would you guys be interested? And we said, well, sure. So she was nice enough, connected us with her brother who let us in the property. Uh, so we met him out there and we walked the property and kind of like Dave said, we saw through the windows, it needed everything. We got in, we saw it needed everything. Um, so we said, okay, well, listen, this isn't a great area. And, you know, it's got the after repair value is probably about one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty thousand dollar house at least. Uh, but it needs everything. So we said, OK, well, let's be fair. We'll offer you. I think we said fifteen thousand was our initial offer. So yeah, that, I think uh, it was. I yeah. think it was fifteen K. So we wrote up a contract for fifteen K. Right. Mm hmm. And she was happy. She said, this is great. I'm going to be done with the house. And we said, okay, well, this is 15K, but this is a this is kind of a unique one. We're going to need to bring in some contractors. Yeah, it's uh, going to be need... contingent on our inspections. Exactly. We're going to need to do some inspections on this house. So that's exactly what we did. And when we did our inspections, what did we find out, Dave? We found out something pretty important about didn't, this one. Didn't they tell us that we had to put the property on stilts if we wanted to, yes. to get an occupancy inspection so, that would pass? Yeah. So since yeah. this had been flooded it's out. Crazy. This was in an area that I guess became part of a floodplain, like after she bought it or I don't know. I don't know all the details, but it was now considered a floodplain. It was right by the river. Um, I mean, not right by the river, but pretty far from the river, but close enough to where it does flood. It was still in the plain. It was in right. a floodplain. Right. So the city says, yeah, in order to rebuild this house, you're going to have to stilt it. Well, this is a house in St. Louis. Almost all of our houses or most of our houses have basements. So, I mean, you're digging down and they're saying this one needs to be 15 feet off the ground. So I mean, we're talking about uh, this, basically it's a demo of the house completely and rebuild almost from scratch. So nothing was savable, which was, again, way bigger project than we wanted to take on. Uh, we, we like light cosmetic flips. Uh, we can do the big flips. But, man, this is this is a big one. You know, most of most of your end buyers as a wholesaler, I mean, most of your end buyers aren't even really interested in that sort of pro project. Uh, not in this area anyways, where mm -hmm. you're looking at a 150K house. Now, had this been a $600, $800 million subdivision, totally different story. But that floodplain changes a lot. So we were not able to do that. And we went back to the seller and we said, listen, we can't do this. And I think this is really when I got a little bit more involved. Me and Dave were 
uh, on the phone with her together. And we said, we can't do it. We're sorry. Uh, I mean, because of this, like, we can't even rebuild the house. And she, she said, well, that's a really bummer. And I said, and we said to her, well, you know, we know you really just want to be done with it. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll give you $1,000 for it. And we'll take over it and we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure out what's going on from there. And she said, well, you know, there was um, a, a buyout on this uh, a year or so ago, and there might be another one coming up. And she said, but I'm just tired. And she told us about she this. She did. She was very for the craziest thing. So this is really interesting. So she said, there might be another buyout. And it's through the city of Arnold. Through the city. The city wants to buy it. So However, the, it was like FEMA, though, right? It was like well, a joint I, thing or something? I'm not exactly sure. So that they get their money from the government. Again, they have to apply for the grant. Right. Then they give the money to the city. Then the city buys it and is able to turn it into a park. Right. Uh, so she's, she told us about this. And she said, I just want to be done with it. And we said, all right, well, we'll go ahead and we'll buy it from you. So we bought the property. But not for 15000 For $1,000. So we took it to closing, and we assumed responsibility for it. And that was huge for her. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was she was thankful. She now, was, how long did this process take, Mike? From the time we initially spoke with her, I think it was about six months. Okay. When we were following up, doing our due diligence. Before and... we were able to essentially get it to the closing table. Correct. So we, we originally came in at 15. I think she maybe wanted more than that. And then uh, initially, so, so then eventually we got her to agree to 15. But then when we found out that we rehabbing this house wasn't even a possibility, guys. We had to tear it down. And rebuild it on stilts if we wanted to put a house where it was at. And when we found that out, that's when we said, okay, you know, we'll help you get this off of your back, but we're not paying 15 grand for it. We'll give you a thousand bucks. And it took her a couple of weeks after we made that offer for her to accept and actually come to the realization that that's all that we were willing to pay her. Yeah, and we consider that it's basically walk away money. So, I mean, it's kind of a sympathy or empathy offer. It's like, We'll give you a thousand bucks. I mean, we can't we can't do any more than that, just because in our in our eyes, it truly was a gamble. Uh, is this is that grant going to come through or not? If yeah, it doesn't. We... Then we're responsible. We talked to the city about this ahead of time, and and she was aware of it then at this point too. Uh, you would be responsible for demoing the house and basically getting it to a safe level lot. Uh, of land, yeah, and that could have cost anywhere between you know what, 15, 10. 10 to fifteen thousand, mm-hmm. probably. So, so that was the risk that we took on this particular deal. Was we knew that there was a city buyout, however, we weren't guaranteed to get to, to be approved in that program. Um, but on the flip side, we knew that they were going to buy these properties out at a retail rate. So basically, the ARV of the property. Well, and, we didn't even know that. I mean, think well, about we it. Assumed we assumed it. That's we did. True. We did. We, we, we figured it was going to be for that. Uh, so we were thinking, oh, man, we could get, you know, 150, 180,000. Who knows for the property? Uh, so so fast forward then. So then what happens next, Dave? We close on the property. And what's our next step? Um, so basically, so let's talk about the, the closing. So it was $1,000 for the property, some closing costs, miscellaneous, maybe 1000 Yeah, we were probably right. all in total for about two grand at the closing table. Correct. And then, um, and then we had to maintain the property, and we had to board it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, right when we bought it, it was out of compliance with the city. So we went, we sent over one of our contractors, and they so he secured the property, he screwed the doors shut, he boarded up the windows, he made sure that nobody could get in the property, um, because you know we didn't want squatters in there, we didn't want anybody getting hurt on the property or in the property. So we totally secured the property and boarded the property up. Um, from there, it was a waiting game. So we did have init- we, we did have additional costs and expenses um, from that day, from when we closed on it, until we actually got the buyout, which was last week. And those costs were obviously, as I just stated, boarding up the property and securing it. We also had to maintain the landscaping and the lawn care. And we did that for about a year. Yeah. And it, was, it felt like two summers worth of it. And I think we paid maybe one or two years in taxes. Now, the taxes has been, had been abated because everyone knew it was flooded out. And yeah, not taxes much. weren't bad, but so we still like had to pay them. 150 bucks. And then so. we had insurance. Yeah. So we definitely did have some costs, but these costs weren't crazy costs. I think we were probably all into this property for maybe three to four grand when mm-hmm. it was all said and done. Okay. And then... Mike gets an email from the city saying that we were approved for the buyout. However, that was about six months ago. 
Yeah, no, so even that process was a long time, uh, and that was a lot of follow-up, too. And during that time, Dave, you and you kind of, uh, we skipped over the other stuff, too, that happened. So during that time, uh, the city would randomly drive by and say, ah, oh, well, the grass needs to be cut, because it was too long. And yeah, we, we were cut, we'd getting... send somebody about a month, every month or so, we'd send somebody out, but they would still go out and say, grass is too long. Or a tree fell, or a limb fell in the front yard, you need to get that replaced. Or, hey, there's uh, somebody has dumped a bunch of trash on your property, you need to get that picked up. So, I mean, again, there was, there was ongoing maintenance with the property uh, kind of above and beyond. And, I mean, the city recognized it was a problem property. They knew no one was living there. I mean, they knew all this as well. Uh, so, again, there was a lot of work, uh, not a lot, but, I mean, there was some work, some maintenance and some costs that, that went into this property. Um, but, again, though, we weren't into it for more than maybe three or four grand. Let's call it 4000 just to round it sure. up. 4000 say it's all, all set in cost. So that was the purchase. That was the closing cost. That was securing the property. That was lawn care, landscaping, taxes, and insurance. All of that for $4,000. Now, insurance is really important, too. Let's not gloss over that. Mm -hmm. So, and liability insurance on a property like this. You've got a vacant property. We don't really care if a tree falls on the roof. We don't really care if it burns down. Again, it's, there's nothing uh, of value to us, right? I mean, we're throwing a thousand bucks at it, which again, I recognize is a decent amount of money, but we didn't care about that. What we cared about is if somebody went over there and fell and got hurt and then sued us. Because again, as the property owner, if we didn't maintain it and somebody was injured, that's a big risk. So again, that's why we wanted to maintain insurance on the property as well. That's so right. it's just important, guys. I mean, th these are things that uh, that can yeah, be do, really, really. Do not forget. You know, if you, if you have a property, you need to have insurance on it. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we did that, and then we started following up with the city. And this is the process that took a little bit longer. So when we were holding it, uh, the city said, "Hey, we are approved for the buyout." Uh, then they needed a bunch of paperwork from us. Needed us to fill out this stuff, and the city goes through their whole checklist. Oh, so... and that took a long time. That, that took six, eight months, guys. It did. So the city, they had to first get, um, I mean, they did a bunch of stuff. They had to get appraisals, uh, and what they called it, the appraiser told me, he said, what we have to do is we have to go in and look at the property, uh, get pictures for the city, because that goes in a standard appraisal. But then they also have to figure out what the property was worth at the time the flood occurred. So that was the number that they came up with, and that's how they came up with their offer, which is really interesting to us because, again, we didn't know. Again, we just, we just figured maybe they're appraising it. For the current condition and the value of the land, yeah. Or again, either who way, knows? we were in a win. We were in a win-win situation. We thought because even if they were to appraise the property at you know twenty or thirty grand in its current condition versus the pre-flood condition, that's still a massive return on an investment of around four thousand dollars. But luckily for us, they they appraised it pre-flood. And that came in at one hundred and five thousand. One hundred and five. One hundred and five thousand. Yep. Right around one hundred and five on the nose. Uh, so then we got the paperwork from the city. We signed it. Uh, signed it for sale for one hundred and five thousand. Uh, we I think walked with a hundred and four eight something like that. Uh, minus our minus the four thousand that we had in it, and we so. had done just over one hundred thousand dollars on the net profit of the wholesale. So our take home, you know, after we had paid ourselves back for the cost that we had spent was six figures, guys. Now, <laughs> this deal, you know, it took us some time and that's okay. You know, we had about six months from our initial contact whenever we drove for dollars and we found the property and we contacted the seller and we made that initial contact. Um, six months from that point in time until we actually closed on it, okay? And the reason was is because the motivation of the seller when we called her originally wasn't, you know, it wasn't highly motivated. She wanted to sell, but she was still kind of uh, wanting to get more for the property. She at that time didn't know that the property was going to need to be stilted. She didn't know if this buyout was going to take, you know, three, five, seven years. She didn't know. And over time, she just lost interest in waiting. She was tired of getting bills and summonses from the city for the lack of upkeep and uh, lawn care, landscaping, so on and so forth. There was tree branches that had fallen, and they were sending her letters like crazy. Yeah, all sorts of issues. And it took about six months 
for us to get this property under contract. And then from, from the time that we had under contract to the time that we closed was roughly a year. I'd say closer to one and a half years, actually. So from start to finish, this took us two years. And this was a really, really good investment that had a return of a crazy percent. A hundred percent or something? No, or more than that because we only invested 4000 so we're talking ten, we're talking thousands of percent. I don't know. It's a lot of return. Twenty five percent, twenty five times what we had invested. There you go. Twenty five x. Yeah. So again, guys, we bought for four, we sold for one oh five, and we had a net profit of one hundred and one thousand. We just got over that six figure <laughs> mark, but we did it, and that is Mike and I's first six figure wholesale. We got it from driving for dollars, and we use the app Deal Machine. If you are not using Deal Machine, we highly recommend it. Um, it's safer than driving around writing stuff down. You can have your phone in your hand, and you can just drop a pin in the map on properties that you see as you are driving around. So then you can then later send them a piece of mail or do it right then and there from the app. You can skip trace them so you can call them or text them. Or you can just use the app to build yourself a list and then export that list and then you know do whatever you might want to do, handwrite a letter or whatnot back at the office or back at home. Now, again, they give a 14-day free trial. Mike and I don't work for Deal Machine. However, we love the app, and that's why we are promoting it on this episode. So if you guys want to check it out and get a free 14-day trial, Go to DealMachine.com or go to the App Store and type in Deal Machine. It's a driving for dollars app. And don't forget to use code DPI. That stands for Discount Property Investor. You guys are discount property investors just like us. We make our money when we buy. We get paid when we sell. So you have to buy at a discount. But use that code DPI when you register for your 14-day free trial, and they will give you a $40 credit, which can be used to test out some direct mail or my personal favorite, skip tracing credits. So as you are driving around, you can skip trace the owner in real time. And I personally like to call them when I'm in the front driveway or in the street in front of their house. There's no better time to call that person than when you are right in front because if they answer and you hope they do, you can say, "Hey, I'm a, you know, I'm an investor. I own some properties in the area or, you know, on the street and um, I'm actually I'm actually in front of your house right now and I'm interested in buying it. Are you interested in selling it?" So we love this app and it got us a 6 100K, guys. Bigger deal. 100K. That is a big payday, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you for checking out the deal machine. Don't forget, like David said, use that DPI pr uh, code. Get yourself a little promo credit and make yourself a six-figure payday. That's right. All right, guys. Signing off. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to help us reach a wider audience. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, visit FreeWholesaleCourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. We would also appreciate it if you left us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. Thank you in advance for your support. And remember, you make your money when you buy, you get paid when you sell. Now let's go build some wealth.